ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. So let's go ahead and talk about the whole Krishan and Tamar situation because this to me is like the craziest thing. Now, I don't know if I ever showed y'all this picture, but I met James. Um, this was in 2022 when I went down to Essence. And so y'all and I had to go see my twin, Tamika. So I was out there with Escape. Um, I went to go see them after I got done um, when I was at, uh, what is that called? The uh, Superdome. And it was so funny because Patti LaBelle was performing. And so I'm like, Damn, you know, whatever happened to the to the Patty LaPelle Patty LaBelle Pie guy, James. And so it was just so funny. I go to the concert to go see Escape and he was back in the green room and I got a chance to meet him. And when I tell you he's such a dope person, just super, super nice. I'm gonna show y'all this picture um of us backstage. So I was really surprised, like when all this went down and y'all know, I don't like a whole lot of damn celebrities. Let's keep that real. A lot of celebrities and people who want to be celebrities are very, very funny acting. Um, but y'all know I love my girls from Escape. And so James was there and we just had a really good time. Like he's such a vibe. So this was me with the girls, you know, me, my twin Tamika. So we were all backstage at their concert and then, um, James was there. And I'm like, I was just thinking about you because I just got done watching Patti LaBelle perform on stage. And so we were just backstage, like, you know, chopping it up. And he is, when I tell you, he is so sweet. Like, he's like the nicest guy. So this was us backstage um, at Essence. You know what I'm saying? So when I heard all this, I'm just like, Krishan hit James? Like, he's literally, like, just really a peaceful guy. He's really funny, very, very down to earth, you know? And so I'm like, okay, this makes no sense. And what I didn't understand is when Tamar's assistant first came out and was like, you know, Krishan put hands on James, it seemed like Tamar was lying and trying to cover up, which I didn't understand why she was doing that. And so as more information was coming out, I was just really disgusted. And I feel like people make a lot of excuses for um, Krishan just because she's pretty. Like, she's like the epitome of pretty privilege at this point. Like the excuses for her behavior, I really feel like she did put hands on him because we've all watched her um, baddies. We've watched her online. Hell, we watched her pregnant at an award show on the red carpet fight somebody. If you can fight somebody while you're carrying a child, it just lets me know about your, you know what I'm saying, like your mental health. I think she's pretty, Kezi. Everybody's like, oh, pretty. I, I think she's pretty. I don't, she's not an ugly girl. I mean, she has a missing tooth and she's still cute. Like, I think I would probably look like a crackhead if I had a missing tooth. I don't know, but I think she's a pretty girl. I just think her attitude is just, at this point, it's disgusting. So she's not pretty? Oh, I don't know. The way that people just you know, excuse her behavior. I just assumed it's because they thought she was cute. I don't know, child. But um, yeah, I think she's a cute girl. You know, I've met her in real life. She's very pretty, you know, in real life. But her attitude has just gotten worse and worse. So basically it's come out, they bought out receipts that something definitely happened. So let me go ahead and pull up my screen here. So first, James came out. So we're going to watch this video um, of James, basically. He's at the dentist's office. He does not want to come on camera. And he's basically talking about, you know, him being attacked. So let me go ahead and share my screen. And on top of, like, other managers and stuff like that came out as well um, to confirm the story. But initially, Tamar was lying. My teeth fixed. I was attacked for no reason. The anger of the anger or whatever the issue was wasn't towards me. So that's why I'm saying I was attacked for 
no reason. So, yeah, here we are on live. And like I said, I'm getting my teeth fixed. I was attacked for no reason. The anger. So the fact that this man is having to fix his teeth, it lets you know that Krishan gave him a knuckle sandwich. So now we're going to listen to what Tamar has to say about the situation. So let me go ahead and pull this up here. Give me just a second. And, and it was by Krishan, but um, there was a lot of events that I believe were misconstrued. And so while I'm not going to set out the time and clear every little thing up for everyone, I, I want you to know um, the reason why I decided to say something. Um, number one, I care about my team. They're all of my friends and we put this all together for the fans. Um, I'm not a clout chaser. I don't. I don't need that. Like my circle is this small, you know. I um, don't have to sell tickets for, you know. Like oh, I need to sell tickets. Let me do this. That other. This show has been sold out for a month. Um, I didn't have an opening act. I knew. I didn't need an opening act because I knew my sister was coming in the middle of the show. Um, Pull out and, you know, tiny when you're in different cities, you she's just invite doing a lot different of damn people. Talking. Um, and Krishan was definitely someone that I invited, someone that I, I actually, you know, looked at from afar as like a, a younger sister. She's from Baltimore. Um, I knew that she was rowdy. You know, I, I didn't judge her because of that. You know, I felt for her on, on so many occasions and I just felt like, oh, this was somebody I wanted to meet to, you know, possibly take under my wing because, you know, everybody knows that I don't have the best. I don't have the best pass. I'm sorry. I have a filter. I washed my face. I look crazy. Okay. Um, you know, and in my journey of being a better person, I wanted people to, you know, accept me for the new person that I was. And the only way that they could do that is if I was given an opportunity. And so that's really all it was. Um, I didn't call her and be like, oh, come on and perform on my show. Um, I already knew Tony was planning to perform here at this LA show. Um, she had sent me her number a while ago on a DM and I reached out to her. Um, and like I said before, like we all have, you know, Christiana is like a little sister to all of us watching her and then watch her make mistakes. We want to help, we want to help. And this is what this Love and War tour has been about. You know, I have called several girls that I didn't, I didn't know Drew Sedora. I didn't know Tiffany Evans. Um, I, I, didn't, I don't know, um, I don't. I didn't know any of them. All right, the I can't that listen I knew to, her was drive, to her. Just, Everybody, just girl. Like, all right. Take this off. <laughs> Next, I just she's just annoying. The girl, bye. Um, first of all, let me say this, okay? Y'all know I had to pull out the damn tiny violin for... She, she's just doing too much talking. My issue is this, right? Let's keep it real. Tamar and Krishan have absolutely nothing in common. And one thing I can't stand is when I see grown folks, people who are old enough to be somebody's mama, running behind them. Okay, Krishan to me is like a kid. Like I said before, she's young enough to be my kid. And me and Tamar are about the same damn age. So my thing is, why are you running behind her? They don't even they don't even match for real. Like there's a video of them on stage, and it's just like really, like they like she doesn't sing. Like, why did you feel the need to even bring her out? Like, her attitude is so shitty at this point. Let me let me show y'all this video of them on stage here. Like, does this even flow? This is like Beyonce bringing out Sexy Red. Let's go ahead and watch them on stage. Because I'm trying to figure out what she has in common with a 23-year-old. Okay, we can't play all that singing that she's doing. But it, it doesn't even match or flow. It doesn't even flow, like, just even seeing them together. So, to me, the only reason why you brought out Krishan was for clout. 
you brought her out for clout you wanted some of her you know her viral fame because she's going viral every other day for some fuck shit on social media so you know let me go ahead and attach myself to her and she can say well it's not for clout my tour was already sold out that doesn't mean anything you know in the world of celebrity you know all press is good press because if it was not for clout why when your you know your right hand person came out and put the story out there about Krishan putting hands on James. The first video that I saw earlier in the week was basically Tamar denouncing everything and making it seem like it was just a rumor and, you know, thanking Krishan and all this stuff. And it's like, you know, why are you apologize? And then even in this one, she's apologizing to Krishan. You don't know this girl from a can of paint. She acted a fool and she put hands on somebody that you supposedly care about. And this man is having to fix his tooth. So now let's go ahead and see Krishan's response to Tamar and James because Krishan doesn't give a damn. Krishan does not care. So we're going to go ahead and listen to what Krishan has to say about the situation. So give me just a second here to share my screen. Now you're going to see how... I'm supposed to get brought up. Cause that shit was foolish. It's gonna shit on that. Fuck that. Fuck her. Fuck that. Fuck all that shit. Because this is the thing about it, bro. I'm genuine, my nigga. So a lot of people take this Baltimore shit. Man. What's up, fat boy? I'm just saying, like, y'all know what the fuck y'all doing. Y'all know what the fuck y'all trying to do with me. Stop trying to act like. It's me. Everybody know what the fuck they doing. They old as shit know what the fuck they doing. They all dried up, know what the fuck y'all doing, bro. So, all right, when I come back to the IG, I'm only fucking with myself and my son, straight up. Yeah. And then when I, nigga, when I drop my account back, I'm dropping, nigga. And I'm gonna pop my shit on that verse, nigga. Fuck out of here, y'all got me fucked up. Oh, you have mine? And it's cool. You try to embarrass me publicly, like, I deserve that. That's cool. That's real cool. That's real cool. Be safe. That's all I got to say. Go over there and fake crying. Be safe. Be safe. That fake crying ain't gonna save you. Be safe. Straight up. Fuck is you talking about? Royal, let that stand up though. Bitch ass niggas. Broke ass bitches. She basically saying she didn't hit nobody. They cap. Suck my dick, nigga. Go ahead and try to press charges that you can't press. Go ahead and try to file a lawsuit that you can't even file a lawsuit on. You know why? Because I'm that bitch and I'm covered, bro. Covered by God, bro. That's real shit. So everybody that got something to say about it, suck my shit. I swear to God. Y'all already sucking it. Fuck, y'all sucking it too much. I had to take it away. Fuck that. Real shit. Nigga, keep up a while I'm in Atlanta, nigga. Now y'all gonna see how I'm supposed to get brought up. Cause that shit was foolish. It's gonna shit on that. Fuck that. Fuck her. Fuck that. Fuck all that shit. Because this is the thing about it, bro. I'm genuine, my nigga. So a lot of people take this Baltimore shit. All right. Next. Get her the fuck up out of here. Tomatoes, 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 tomatoes. I'm just, I'm just really disappointed in Krishan. It's like everybody's always rooting for her. And it's like, how many times are we going to watch her, you know, play these games, play victim, you know, and then she's sitting here saying, you know, suck her peen and, um, you know, you better be safe. She's basically sending more threats. So you claim that you didn't put hands on him and you're innocent. You did nothing wrong. But she's basically low key sending threats to Tamar and the whole team. And meanwhile, Tamar's sitting here crying, you know, tattooed tears and trying to act like she has this deep relationship with Krishan. And that Krishan's response just showed you that she does not have a relationship with Tamar. This was just some clout stuff. It was like, okay, I got invited. I'm going to show up. Something happened. Obviously, she put hands on James. But I just think the whole situation is a mess because at the end of the day, Krishan is like, what, 23? So again, why are these grown adults running behind her? And I feel like they're running behind her because they want some of that clout as well. And it's basically at this point, it's created a monster. You know, she's calling folks broke. She's, you know, talking down 
to people about their wealth as if she was always rich, as if she didn't come from, you know, Baltimore and was raised, you know, poor and things like that. So it's like I always say, be careful who you see on your way up because the same folks you see on your way up are the same folks you can see on your way down. So I don't know. I just I don't like it. And I see a lot of her fans are like, oh, it was a setup. Um, you know, they're just trying to make her look bad. Like, let's stop with that. There's too much, there's too many videos of Krishan online of her just popping off. Look how she was trying to get her own sister, Takeshi, Takashi, whatever her name is, um, to fight Wo Vicky. And even her sister was like, I'm not about to fight her. She's weak. You know what I'm saying? She's obviously not a fighter. I'm not a bully. So, like, this is Krishan's MO. And everybody keeps saying, you know, she's young, she's young. Nah, I mean, at this point, yes, 23 is a lot younger, but she's not that young. Let's stop acting like she's 15. She's also a mother. So at what point in time do you grow up and understand that you can't go around putting your hands on people just because you're mad? Like, that's just not how it works, you know? So I think James should press charges, especially if he's having to pay for dental work and stuff like that. He has every right to sue. I don't know if he's going to sue her. You know, but he has every right to. And the fact that she's not apologetic, she's antagonizing them, she's making fun of him. You know, she doesn't have any remorse. And I think that's the saddest part. I just feel like people have, like, made excuses for her after excuses. And like I said, initially, yes, I wanted the best for her. I wanted to see her do better. But even with the birth of her baby, I don't really see a change in her. I just don't. So I think the whole situation is just really sad. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.